Hello YouTube, today I will be explaining shortly what is Zobel Circuit and uh, what it does. So Zobel Circuit is in a uh, simple, it is like uh, thinking about that your speaker, I have here Audison Prima AP2, uh, if you're thinking this as a uh, electrical circuit, uh, it is a inductor and with a resistor. Uh, you can complete the circuit with Zobel to have it as low impedance rise at the high end as possible. Now, uh, I will be showing a simple circuit and a calculator where you can calculate and what you need to have to make a better circuit for your system. What it does, it uh, allows the speaker have a really flat curve in the higher ends uh, like, uh, uh, well, let me just show you. So uh, in here I have a DATS V2, which is an impedance uh, calculator or a device that can show you the impedance curve. I have here Hybrid Audio Unity U2, uh, which, which has a now 214 Hz FS uh, with a 3.648 ohms. Now it shows me 0.02 milli henrys uh, as a inductor value. So first of all, to calculate your uh, Zobel circuit, uh, you need to connect it between the plus and minus on your speaker. I choose to do it like this, so I have a normal speaker wires going into the terminals, and then from the terminals I have a uh, uh, 10 watt 4.7 ohm resistor uh, with series with capacitor of a 100 volts 4.7 microfarads. Now this capacitor needs to be a uh, uh, NPN capacitor, which does not have plus or minus, so it's do, you do not use electrolytic capacitors, you need to use like a, I think mine was some kind of plastic name in it, Pro, po, polypropyl something, I don't know, maybe somebody can explain me, uh, can tell me what kind of components I really need to use in my Zobel circuit, this is just uh, uh, to explain how to use this. Now, uh, what it does, uh, I can show you a normal speaker here, uh, what kind of impedance curve does it have. So connecting this Audison between the plus and minus in here, like so, and uh, testing the free air parameters. Here you can see it has a really high uh, 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 resonant frequency of around uh, 181 Hertz with a ohms of uh, 3.4. We have 0 0.09 millihenries uh, as a uh, inductor value. Now, uh, as you can see here, it raises the uh, impedance when we go higher than 500, 6, 700 Hertz. Now with the Zobel circuit uh, with a uh, components, uh, good components used, you can flatten this curve. This allows the speaker to have a constant, uh, this allows the amplifier to have a constant resist uh, on the speakers to uh, give it same amount of uh, like power and everything across the whole uh, area where the speaker plays. Now it affects on the sound of course, it might uh, open up the up upside of the speaker like the uh, really highs, it, it can flatten up uh, some kind of uh, let's say distortion, so this kind of stuff, uh, uh, or it can maybe not ruin your sound, but this is more like test and find out yourself kind of stuff. I uh, heard about Zobel circuit uh, from uh, Mr. Mikko Dilman, who uh, is, uh, is in Finland, uh, uh, where I bought the uh, Unity series, hybrid audio Unity series speakers. And I was like, um, maybe I've heard this before. Now I've made it these um, uh, impedance analyz analyzers myself for the past five years. This is one of the oldest ones. I'm now using the DOT series because it's just simple and easy. And when I was building those, I was making uh, uh, calculators for uh, 
high pass filters and this kind of stuff and I actually uh, managed to find this Sobo circuit uh, value uh, well with the component calculator now you can find a Sobel circuit component, uh, component uh, calculators on the internet and uh, with these uh, uh, with the parameters I found from this this should have a uh, 7700 microfarad capacitor with 4.26 ohm resistor I'm not really sure if this 7000 is correct but using a 4 ohm uh, resistor with a 4.7 uh, microfarad capacitor should be okay now what I'd be thinking here now I'm not really the highest sound quality or electrical uh, engineer uh, I just like to test stuff and uh, document while I'm doing those so maybe if you have a better understanding of these electronics please leave a comment if I'm telling something wrong uh, <coughs> but keeping everything short Zobel circuit is a uh, way to stabilize the rise of impedance at the high ends thus making constant power coming out from the amplifier thus making the up uh, up area of the speaker audible range mass ma better or uh, uh, more intact so uh, with these kind of uh, analyzers like the impedance meters and this you can find out what kind of components you really need to have to have better uh, Zobel circuit the 4.7 microfarads and 4.7 ohms is not the best uh, you can really uh, wiggle it around and test uh, different kind of uh, components to find out the best ones for your uh, speakers this affects more on the Twitter side and uh, wide range speakers so keep in mind that using this on subwoofers really don't do much now uh, one thing to keep in mind if you are playing uh, like this had a 181 uh, Hertz of uh, FS playing this speaker underneath the 181 Hertz it tends to want to uh, stabilize itself uh, so you can have a audible distortion coming out from here because the cone wants to come down every now and then so this uh, pure sine wave is not pure it wants to like uh, wiggle it around so having a impedance meter is quite crucial so you can uh, understand more of your electrical components like uh, speakers and have better crossover uh, this kind of stuff so when I now played with my uh, I uh, t took a impedance curve from my now uh, unity speakers that I have as you can see here the impedance curve is pretty flat on the upside here it wants to raise from here but it flattens it out really nicely now I have a 213 Hertz of uh, FS like resonant frequency in here so probably I should be using like a uh, 400 Hertz as a uh, first uh, crossover point with a 24 dB so uh, it does not uh, uh, this area between the uh, 200 and 400 Hertz uh, because the impedance rise is really high so I get less power and it starts to like get on the distortion um, not, well, not, not like distortion you know but normal, normally uh, here like uh, when you are using a big subwoofer and cranking it really up it goes into distortion clipping uh, but uh, it does not mean that uh, because of the cone wants to stay so the sine wave is not pure uh, but having a uh, impedance meter is really nice because you can see this kind of electrical behavior when everything is installed up so with that you can uh, move your crossovers and find a point where you can have the uh, cleanest and more stable output from the whole range that you are playing from your speaker and maybe get the mids to get this area better so 
uh, that's about it for today about Zobel circuit like if you like dislike if you dislike and leave a comment what do you think about of my testing here and uh, if I told something wrong and uh, something like that leave a comment so we can discuss it in there now Zobel circuit I'm not really sure if it's making a really big impact uh, on my sound uh, but I like having those there because it is something extra something uh, that not everyone uses so that's why I like to keep them <laughs> there and to make a video about uh, Zobel circuit so see you on the next video I will be now going to test some impedance curve from my subwoofer my infinite baffle here so I, will, I want to see if it has a uh, like um, uh, if it peaks out in an everywhere it does it see it as a bandpass enclosure or sealed enclosure i will be testing that out but that's on another video see you there bye bye